guy here. And Andrew from Heavy Boxes. I came all the way down here to Newport, Oregon and to visit Sai. and what we're going to be doing is a collaboration project. We're going to be building a picnic basket out of wood and I made the boxes and she's going to decorate them and it's going to be a great project and I hope you all like it. Andrew brought all of the pieces with him so we could assemble it and decorate it here. It consists of three boxes and he marked all the pieces so assembly would be easy. He was really good about checking to make sure we were gluing the right pieces together and everything did go together very nicely. <laughs> That's an awesome looking dovetail though, woo! Yes. So I, uh, I am too. gluing where again? Uh, I don't know that part. It <laughs> doesn't matter, just, just sop it up with glue. <laughs> um, let's... We talked about dovetails and pins, and these were blind dovetails, so we were getting all confused, or at least I was. And at first, I was a little tentative using the hammer. Did I mention that Andrew was really good about making sure we were gluing the right pieces together? Oh, A1, right? This is A1. Okay. <laughs> You're doing the wrong one, we'd have to really hurry. Oh, yeah. If we're doing the opposite. Then I started to get a little more comfortable with the orange hammer. Oh! Oh! Oh, you hit my finger! <laughs> Sorry, I laughed, Andrew. Oh! That was, I think I'm gonna get a bruise. Oh! Oh! oh. Okay, back to Andrew. Uh, yes. And then... What did, what did I glue? You oh, glued this one. and I glued this. Oh yes, I'm gluing these. Yeah. Let me slide that over too. You're, I'm gluing the, the innies and you're gluing the outies. Right. <laughs> That's easier. In it, yes. <laughs> the innies. Yeah, who cares about dove tails and, and pins? Pins, and, yeah. That's better. Innies and outies. Renaming the dovetails and pins worked out great, and Andrew kept checking to make sure we were on the same page. D1, right? D1, yes. Okay. Hit sink. <laughs> <laughs> so we finished up the two small boxes and moved on to the larger box. Gluing the innies and outies, putting the correct pieces together, and cleaning up the squeeze out. I think, I think one of these outies chipped. I really like that. It's so much easier. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh yeah, you do that outside. Oh, there's okay. nothing on the inside. Oh, okay. That's just a tiny bit. Then the final box was assembled. This is how the three boxes go together, so next was adding all the little things that attach it. These side arms are attached with barrel screws, and this allows the top small boxes to open up. Yay! Oops. Except that my tools fall apart. There we go. The piano hinge attaches the lids to the top small boxes, and the items I made for this project will go on these lids. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, um, cabinet front so the doors? Yeah. Oh, where are these? This is a decoration for the picnic basket. Andrew brought his lid pieces so that we could decorate his too, then add it to his picnic basket when he gets home. Okay. Cool. Cool. Grapes and pears. Just on it. Strawberries and apples. Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. Oranges and bananas. <laughs> and then we have the ant. <laughs> Helping himself to a grape there. So, Sai, how do you plan to organize your box? I am thinking to organize the letters above this pretty grain on the wood. And I want them to be, you know, like fun picnic-y letters. So not in like a straight line or anything, kind of picnic. <laughs> so 
So Andrew rearranged his lid decorations while I rearranged mine, and then we glued them on. This was pretty exciting to see all of our planning and work coming together. I was glad that Andrew brought his lid so he could put the decorations on it while he was here in Oregon. Then it will be all ready to be attached to his picnic basket that he has back home in Utah. There was one last thing to glue on, and we let the ant decide where it wanted to go. Then a little more gluing, and we were done! Thank you for inviting me, Sai, to your house. Uh, we got to make a picnic basket out of wood. And of course, I'll finish mine when I get home back into Utah. And unfortunately, I'll have to leave. But I hope you all enjoyed this project. And remember, lifting heavy boxes, lift with your legs, not with your back. It was great to do a project with Andrew, heavy boxes DIY master. So thanks, Andrew. And it was nice because we could just both be silly. Andrew here. <laughs> <laughs> lift with your legs, not with your back. Oh. Oh! Oh! What did I say? Oh. Hey, where did I hear that from? And great to have him here in Oregon to make this video for everyone. And make sure to check out Heavy Boxes DIY Master videos and see how this picnic basket was made. So thanks for joining us, everybody. See you next time. Bye! Bye. Bye.